interview was they didn't want people who fitted into a box. They wanted people who had uh, unusual dynamism for this role because this role was an unusual role. Unwittingly, we were the part of the breakdown of a very well-ordered, unionised, structured way of producing television. I think it also allows you to achieve art. When the advertisement for video journalist appears, 3,000 young hopefuls apply. 30 are chosen. They come from different backgrounds, researchers, newspapers, magazines, secretaries. And for organisations like the BBC who struggle with diversity, it was an object lesson in a, a room on the first day that had black, white, men, women, young, old, people of faith and people not of faith. Video journalism was sold to me as a way of being a one-man band, multi-skilled, so you actually came up with the story, you go and film the story, you come back and you put the story together and it goes on air. Um, and that was how we started doing it, but I think now it's, it's kind of changed and transformed, so people now when they think of video journalism, they tend to think more of a, a person who is more perhaps technical than, ta uh, than creative and they will go and do the story but they won't necessarily do it all the way from start to finish. Come out you would do a story, you would quite often do two a day and sometimes three and I think the most I ever did was four and that's like minimum 90 second packages, you know. The purpose of video, video journalism, in my humble opinion, is, is the simple poem that I once heard Muhammad Ali say me, we. What's my story and how it how relevant is it to you? Channel One made my career such as it is. I was one of the youngest people there, one of the least experienced. Uh, there was a, a t there was a, a a sprinkling of weird dust if you'd been at, on you if you'd been at Channel One, which was people were both suspicious of you and thought that you could do something that no one else could do or very few people could do and thought you had this kind of uh, mastery of the dark arts of television on the cheap, which was what everyone was desperately trying to do, as, we, as it happened at the kind of the dawn of a multi-channel era. It was incredibly hard work, it was incredibly inspiring, uh, and what it left me with was a sense that things do not have to be as the orthodoxy dictates.